Hello and welcome to the August 2024 edition of Room for Everyone, the video podcast of The Rheumatologist. I certainly hope that this edition is coming out in August because the topic we are discussing today is procrastination. Procrastination, the deliberate delay in doing something that should be done right now, is considered a bad habit that we all engage in from time to time. Certainly, I feel the burden and the guilt of procrastination, but should I really be feeling that way? In this month's Ruminations, we delve deep into procrastination, what it is, why it is, and how we can overcome it. While I was writing this column, or I guess rewriting the column since I procrastinated on this column years ago until I gave up on it, I gained a lot of insights about myself and the nature of the work that I do. For the busy rheumatologist, here's a one minute rundown of what I've learned. First, I understand that procrastination is a survival mechanism. When we start to procrastinate, we really should ask ourselves why we feel so tempted to not do what we know we have to do. Why is the body going against the mind? Once we've figured that out through some mindfulness and thoughtfulness, procrastination becomes a moot point. It vanishes away. In that sense, procrastination can also become a vital tool that forces us to think about what we need to prioritize to survive and to thrive. Secondly, procrastination can be used for good. We usually think of procrastination for avoiding bad things, but what about procrastinating for good things? We can use procrastination to savor the good moments, to split up and prolong the tasks that bring us joy. We say that we want the good times to last. Maybe procrastination can help us to get there. Even weirder, we can use procrastination to defeat procrastination. After all, there's always something else for which we feel a greater drive to procrastinate. So why don't we just use that drive to focus on the tasks at hand and choose to procrastinate on the less important task that we can delay until tomorrow. It is a bold strategy, but darned if it doesn't work for me. And lastly, if you simply can't tolerate any procrastination, you can defeat procrastination with self-acceptance. Once you free yourself from your sense of guilt and self-doubt, you can do whatever you want including the stuff that you dread doing. Looking at the person that you will become as a completely separate individual who will be grateful for your actions today can flip the script on procrastination. At the very least, it can fill you with a sense of gratitude that the work that you are doing or delaying makes a difference in someone's life, yours. There's also a lot of other great content within the pages of this month's issue that helps to address issues like how should we screen and monitor for interstitial lung disease due to systemic autoimmune rheumatologic diseases? How undifferentiated really is undifferentiated connective tissue disease? And what is new with large vessel vasculitis? That and so much more in this month's edition of The Rheumatologist. So please enjoy. Drop everything else you're doing and take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. After all, here at The Rheumatologist, it is always one for all and room for every one. Take care.